tell you how many hours I spent playing this video game. <laughs> Let me be clear here. Monster Hunter Try is my favorite Monster Hunter video game of the entire series. Period. I have played the old and new versions of Monster Hunter. There's nothing quite like the old. The new versions do not have the same touch and feel as the old versions. There is something that makes Monster Hunter Try and the older generation of titles more memorable. I think that is largely due to the fact you feel more like a human in the older versions of Monster Hunter than some acrobatic superhuman in the new versions. The challenge in posing threat of each monster and success feels more engaging. Plus. The roster of monsters in the old generation of Monster Hunter were just cool and disgusting. <laughs> For the sake of the video, I'll be presenting Monster Hunter Try with the original Wii edition and Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate for the Wii U. Both titles are similar, with the exception that Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate was an expanded and updated version for Monster Hunter Try. Neither video game is better than the other, however, I felt that both video games should be showcased instead of just one. Monster Hunter Try is an action role-playing video game developed by Capcom and released in 2010 for the Wii console. You play as the newest member of Moga Village, a remote fishing village on the coast of a deserted island. You hail from the Hunting Guild an organization that directs freelance fighters and travelers to hunt vicious creatures known as monsters. Your goal as a hunter is to investigate the ongoing abnormality of earthquakes that is threatening Moga Village and put a stop to them. In the middle of my community college years, I met a colleague that was a huge video gamer, more so than I was. We naturally bonded and exchanged stories about our video gaming experiences. 
He would tell me stories about his funniest video game moments. Each of them I was open to hearing. However, whenever I told him my funniest video gaming moments, he would laugh hysterically. I think he just enjoyed what story I would tell him next each time class was about to start. Eventually, my colleague started talking about the Monster Hunter series. At the time, he thought I had heard of the series and was telling me all of these stories about the franchise. I knew nothing about the Monster Hunter series, or even the existence of the video games. The moment I broke to my colleague that I had never heard of the Monster Hunter franchise, he immediately brought his copy of Monster Hunter Tri for the Wii with him to the class next day and asked me to borrow the video game. So I borrowed the video game from my colleague and began to play Monster Hunter Tri. After an entire weekend with the video game, I downright hated my experience. Monster Hunter Tri was a difficult and challenging video game. Everything I tried doing to succeed in a quest just ended up in failure. Worse, after succeeding, the challenge became even greater. What was the fun of this video game? I threw the disc back into the case and the case back into my backpack, ready to return to my colleague. When I got to class after the weekend and opened my backpack up, I saw Monster Hunter try inside. Upon staring at the case, I thought, you know what, I'll give the video game one more shot. I told my colleague that I would like to continue to borrow Monster Hunter Try for a little while more, and this time, I would study the video game. I felt something was lacking in my short experience that I did not understand. I pivoted my perspective of Monster Hunter Try that the video game was hard for the sake of being difficult. In truth, the video game has mechanics, rules, and features that need to be broken down and understood. When the research and applied concepts were put into practice, Monster Hunter Tri became my newest favorite video game, as my colleague expected. Although I began to enjoy Monster Hunter Tri and played the game religiously thereafter, there is one significant thing that all Monster Hunter fans can agree on. The grind is real. The biggest reason why Monster Hunter Tri did not make my list of top video games of all time is because of the mechanics of randomization. You can spend hours of your life fighting the same monster over and over and never acquiring that one material piece to complete a weapon or armor set. This is especially true when taking on late game monsters as the drop rate for some items is a single digit number. Moreover, some monster hunts can take a full hour to complete unless you came prepared ahead of time by doing extraneous provisioning of supplies beforehand to take the monster down quicker. Time is a relevant factor that the Monster Hunter series takes away. Is time worth that one very small percentage drop item? For me, yes that was. But for some, no. The random number generator installed in Monster Hunter Tri and Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate is often cruel and unforgiving. With no other way to acquire what you want than hunting a monster hundreds of times, Monster Hunter Tri, as well as the other video games in the franchise, is a gambling time dump. With the big reason out of the way, I cannot deny that Monster Hunter Tri and Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate are great games. I often told my colleague about all the stories I had after successfully understanding the video game. He laughed at every single story I had to tell, 
and our friendship strengthened to gaming brother status once I became a fan of Monster Hunter Dry. Over the past decade, my favoritism for the Monster Hunter franchise has dwindled with each newest installment. I am no longer a fan of the Monster Hunter series. What I am a fan of is strictly Monster Hunter Try and Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. These two video games will be forever runner-up video game choices that I look upon fondly. I will always remember the revelation I had when I decided to give Monster Hunter Try one more try. Alright, I could not end this video without saying this. Why did some fans not like the swimming gameplay aspects of Monster Hunter Try? There were so many video gamers that I met in Monster Hunter 4, Monster Hunter Generations, and Monster Hunter World lobbies that were thankful the swimming gameplay aspect was gone. I... I couldn't... I, I can't understand. But why? Come on, look at this! This is so cool and awesome! I had so much fun fighting monsters in the deep blue sea! You know, I, I'm still holding out to see swimming underneath the water return in the Monster Hunters franchise. You watch. It'll happen. And when it does, I'm coming back. You, I, no, I will. I will come back. No, I'm, I'm going to. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video and episode, please feel free to check out the Pondersword channel for more episodes. Additionally, we made a grand opening with our Etsy store. Our exclusive Pondersword mug is now for sale. The entire Pondosaur community can now share a cup of coffee with you as you enjoy these episodes. A link will be provided in the description below for more details about our Pondosaur Etsy store and merchandise. Once again, thank you for all that have supported this community. I'm your host, Richard Dome, and this is Pondosaur, Words with a Roar. We'll see you soon.